hi there welcome back to my channel this is Medea J and in today's video we're going to be doing another spring cleaning I've got loads of eyeshadow palettes to get rid of so we're gonna go through as you can see I used to have eyeshadow palettes on this level my fragrances have sort of grown <laughs> so um, I've cleared out this level and I've got my eyeshadows just on two shelves now so I do have a whole bag of eyeshadow palettes to declutter so this is not going to be a full eyeshadow palette collection video to be honest i haven't really purchased that many eyeshadow palettes or received that many in pr anyway but in this video i'm going to focus on showing you the palettes that i'm decluttering and giving you a few points as to why i'm decluttering them the major thing really was i wanted to downsize my eyeshadow palettes because i'm not using them as much and i do want to give away some of these palettes to friends and family so let's just jump right in if you're interested in eyeshadow palette declutters or declutters of any kind or you like perfume collections perfume videos makeup tutorials makeup recommendations fashion videos definitely subscribe you are in the right place so without further delay let's get to it Right, so like I said in the beginning, my um, use of eyeshadow palettes has really reduced over the last couple of months. I've been super busy with work, with life, so I haven't really been using my eyeshadow palettes as much. And so because of that, I am going to get rid of quite a few that I know um, I'm not going to use. I do use a few of my eyeshadow palettes, but definitely not as much as I used to. The first being this one from dito cosmetics this is the neon eyeshadow palette i talked about this a few times in other videos it's such a beautiful colorful eyeshadow palette i've only swatched one color or maybe two colors in this entire palette and maybe used it once gently used it's so pretty but i do have other colorful eyeshadow palettes and i just haven't reached for it so she's she's going this is this cute little one from um, the collaboration with Revolution. This is the Lion King eyeshadow palette. And this one is called Jungle Princess. Out of all of the um, eyeshadow palettes that came with this collection to start with, this was such a beautiful collection. And I had the pleasure of collaborating with Revolution to do a few lip swatches of the lip product, which I absolutely love. But I fell in love with this eyeshadow palette just because the look is, the color is, perfect for me it's exactly the tone that i love but to be honest i haven't used it. i haven't even taken off the film and it just needs to go to a better home so decluttering this one i haven't even taken this one out of the packaging at all you can see the seal is still on there and this is the circle of life and that's kind of like the color story did i open it at all let's see i think i can i can open it from the bottom just so that you can see but this is another one that was so pretty like that reddish orange really got me and it's really up my alley but to be honest i'm just not reaching for it so she's gonna go from detail cosmetics i've got brick fun which is the one that looks like an owl Do you know what i might keep this one just because of the jewel tones i think i'm gonna keep this one and uh, this was a maybe and i forgot to take it out I really do want to use that shade called peacock in the middle it's so it's just pretty i've i've been doing a lot of either neutral tone looks or one and done eyeshadow looks so i i'm gonna keep this one because that color is just gorgeous From morphe i've got the 9d palette um painted desert you know what i don't know if it's just me i'm so confused with what's going on with morphe Morphe here in the UK is still being sold everywhere. You still got it in boots and I still received PR quite recently from Morphe. So I don't really know what's going on. But anyway, you guys know that I do love their eyeshadow palettes. The reason why I'm getting rid of this one is because I've got this color story multiple times in other eyeshadow palettes that I have from them. So this one can go. Asa Beauty and this is the joshua tree eyeshadow palette i do like this eyeshadow palette it's an all matte um eyeshadow palette the quality is very very good but i don't find myself reaching for it as much 
so and to be honest a lot of these eyeshadow palettes um that i've been sent i use them because i'm nurturing the relationship with the brand and obviously their quality is great or else i wouldn't use it at all but then there are some brands that i feel like just use you do you know what i mean like that's just my personal opinion anyway i did enjoy this one as you can see there was some wear in it and it's a full neutral sorry full matte eyeshadow palette but i've got the colors multiple times over so somebody else will definitely enjoy it in my life and then i've got this one from huda this is the huda mauve obsession and the only reason why i'm getting rid of this one is because i've had it for a very long time it is one of those eyeshadow palettes that i used a lot and there are a few dents in those pans i really do love this color story but luckily i have it in other eyeshadow palettes so i can let go of it i'm gutted to be getting rid of this one this is the revolutions the school of good and evil it's better being bad because i did like this eyeshadow palette this is the nevers shadow palette to be honest i haven't even seen the program yet but nonetheless the quality of this i truly enjoyed i did get a few people comment that they didn't enjoy the quality but for the shades that i use i think that it performed really really well and i do love the color story it's just i've got these colors multiple times in my collection and i'm just not reaching for it as much and i find that with revolution palettes if you don't use them as often they just keep getting um pushed back or forgotten and i just i want somebody else to enjoy them thrive cosmetics is leaving because it's older and the colors are not performing as well but it's one of those um smoky eye eyeshadow palettes like those it's supposed to be a face palette but i use it as an eyeshadow palette that just works really really well for me it's just that the quality has gone downhill i've had it for a couple of years so i i was definitely expecting that at some point the quality would uh one that i'm gutted about but i have to let it go is the lowest cosmetic rose metal palette i don't have any eyeshadow palette like this i haven't come across any eyeshadow palette like this except for the pat mcgrath eyeshadow palette but because there are more mattes in this one i've just never seen something match this color story but similar to the thrive cosmetics the quality of this has gone downhill i've had this for years and years literally bought it the year that it came out and i've just been using using it but it's expired so it you know it needs to go in the bin. To go in the bin is the nubian 3 coral palette i got this the year that it came out and i haven't replaced this since then it's one of those unique color stories you've got silvers you've got these peachy tones you know i use this quite a lot but um again it's old so it still on the juvia's place palette this one is another one that's really old again i got it the year it came out this is the saharan 2 palette it's one of my favorites to be honest because the color story is just so 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 pretty and you can get so many looks like that blue at the end is just absolutely stunning um i don't know if they still make this one but it's too old and not safe to use on my eyes and i'm not collecting eyeshadow palettes like i've tried collecting them in the past but it really doesn't do anything but just take up space <laughs> another one i'm letting go of is the tribe by Juvia's place um this one bittersweet i've had this one for years um and i know it's been discontinued they brought it back for a limited period and i think it's still discontinued again <sighs> but it's time it's, it's just the quality has gone down and it's expired for sure colored rain rose garden this one bittersweet i do love this eyeshadow palette i did review it and the counterpart eyeshadow palette but to be honest i've got these colors a few times over in my collection and i'm just not really reaching for it as a standalone palette and right now i'm looking for easy peasy lemon squeezy for me so this will go to a family friend that would love the color story another one i'm trying to find the other one just one sec yeah so this is the other one which is the botanicals 
which I love as well. But again, I do have this color story a few times over and um, I'm just not reaching for it. So I'm going to give it to somebody who's going to love it. Next up, I'm finally getting rid of the Power Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this for years. This is the Colored Rain X Power. And it's bittersweet getting rid of it because I've been hanging on to it for dear life. But to be honest, it's definitely expired. Um, it's a beautiful color story. I did try to wear it quite recently and I found that the quality has definitely gone down. But um, yeah. The, yeah it's definitely expired let's be honest another one i'm getting rid of is the wine and only from ColourPop. this one i enjoyed i also have a tutorial on my channel using this eyeshadow palette it's so so pretty so pigmented that bottom shade in the right corner is gorgeous but again just not reaching for it Good rain juicy boost palette this one's going bittersweet again but it's just one of those eyeshadow palettes that summer has come a few times over i've used it a few times but because it's very very pink heavy in my opinion like that entire middle roll it just discounts me because i'm not really a pink lover I never have been and i think i'll just accept that i never will be <laughs> So I'm going to gift this to my niece who loves pinks and she's going to enjoy this eyeshadow palette. Mind, none of these eyeshadows are bad quality in terms of their pigmentation and stuff. They've either expired or um, I'm not using them as much as I should. So I'm, I'm giving them away. Um, Ofra. So this is a collaboration um, with, oh, I forget her name. But this is one of their mini mix palettes in Caribbean Glitz. Again, I do love the Ofra Mini Mix palettes. I love to review them. I love to use them. But unfortunately, I can't use them as face palettes because a lot of the, like the bronzer, the blush never works for me. So I always end up using them as eyeshadow palettes, but then I don't really use them because I can't travel with it as a standalone palette, which is really what I want. So I think I'm going to remove the highlighter in the middle called Paradise. Because I don't think I've got that color anywhere. And then I'm going to get rid of the palette itself. Letting go of the Nabla Platinum Palette. This is the Cutie Palette. I've loved on this palette a few times over. Because it's just one of those very unique cool tone eyeshadow palettes. But I think I can live with it. Because I've got the Natasha Denona um, cool tone palette. Which I'm going to be using more of. But that silver. That silver is what gets me every single time like it's still disrespectful but i can't hang on to it just because of one shade i mean i could but i don't right. want to. so i've got makeup obsession golden honey if you're looking for a neutral tone eyeshadow palette that is very inexpensive i promise you you are going to love this one hopefully you can still get your hands on it because the quality of this is fantastic both the mattes and the shimmers, but I have these colors multiple. One thing I do have lots of is neutral palettes. <laughs> so I do have this a, a million times over. So I'm going to be gifting that one. Um, and then I have a few of the smaller Beauty Bay palettes. This, this is the Beauty Bay in color palettes or Disney in color palettes. So this is the, what's this one called? Jungle Book one. Again, it's not a standalone palette. The quality is great, but they're fun. But I just think, you know, I'm just not using them. This is the Dumbo one. It's so cute. So that's this one. That's going... And then I've got the Cheshire Cat one, the Alice in Wonderland, which is, to me, so, so fun. But the girl is just not using it. I'm just not using it. Shame on me. I don't even think I've touched this. I've touched one shade in this one. One shade. But it's just one of those I also things. also have the Bambi one. I actually grew up with Bambi. 
I remember the first time I went to the cinema to watch Bambi, I was frightened. You know, I might actually watch it again because I haven't watched it since then. <laughs> but I don't know why I was so scared. But um, yeah, that one, I was young anyway. And then I've got a few um, of the Colored Rain Chick palette. So this is the Pretty Chick, obviously, because it's pink. And I don't really wear pink like, like that. Um, so this one's going. It's a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I do like the look of it, but I'm just not wearing it. Oh, I actually forgot another one. This is another Alice in Wonderland one from Beauty Bay six color palette which looks like this they are very good accompanying palettes for for um, each other i don't think i can pop these out if i could i would put them in a pan but and use them because let me see having them as eyeshadow palettes on their own no it will it will destroy the eyeshadow palette so this one's gonna go the made by mitchell palette this is the mitchell volume one didn't really enjoy this one um to be honest because again it's not a standalone palette for me the blues in this one is very pretty but i i do have blues everywhere else so somebody else is gonna love on that i was very brutal when i was going through these palettes like literally very brutal all right the plastic boy eyeshadow palette by gary thompson again i've got loads of neutrals so i love this one i reviewed this recently i've used it quite a number of times like you can see it's a beautiful eyeshadow palette but i do have a lot of neutral eyeshadow palettes so no brainer to let it go another morphe palette that i have is the 9t palette and again this is just because i've got these types of tones in other palettes multiple times other morphe palettes but the quality of this is great and i also have my favorite travel neutral palette so i don't really feel the need to keep this for travel purposes because i do have palettes that i love to use when i'm traveling bittersweet i do have um this trixie cosmetics eyeshadow palette which i'm rethinking why did i put it in here because i want to keep all the trixie palettes this is the rebound palette i think i'm going to keep it um no i remember why i put it in here i don't like these type of pan palettes i really don't um so I think I, I am going to get rid of this one because if not, I'm just hanging on to it and I'm not going to use it. Like you can see, I don't really like that shape of pan. And then this one is the backup breakup palette. This was in collaboration, I believe, with uh, um, Katia, I think. I'm not sure. I think so and this is what it looks like this one's very pretty i just don't like the shape of the palette i know it just doesn't store well but it is super pretty you know what now that i'm looking at it i don't know i think i'm gonna keep it it's so pretty like those blues mm, i'm gonna keep it <laughs> revolution pro bronze glow this one's going it's one of my favorites revolution pro neutral eyeshadow palettes but you know the drill i've got loads of neutral palettes so time to go a few smaller signature palettes from ofra this is the sweet dreams signature palette which looks like this which is decent decent quality i just don't reach for it and then i've got getaway which again is decent these are like the holiday palettes which i don't i don't really use so i think i'm gonna keep that middle shade though it's so pretty i love rose gold highlighters so anyway it's gorgeous next is the naked 
um, Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. I love this palette. I did use it quite a bit, but I don't like the pan design. And it's not as deep as I would like. So she's going to go. And then I have a few bigger palettes. So I've got the Morphe 24 um, main event. This is a collaboration, I believe, with some influencers. Made by Mitchell was one of them. And I dig the idea of this palette. It's just not for me. It's not practical. Um, you're supposed to use water to activate the colors at the bottom. And then you've got the shades. I feel like if I just shorten the palette like this, it doesn't wow me the only thing that wows is the bottom idea and then those press glitters just don't do it for me so as you can see this palette hasn't been touched <laughs> i've never used it never once used it so yeah she needs to go and then another one that i just uh, like the idea of but i just never used it is the avani greg Maybe I used the ones. Maybe I reviewed it. I don't even remember. But same concept. Um, the bottom shades are, I believe they're activated. Yeah, water activator. So these two rolls. And then the eyeshadow palette is just that, which is better looking. It just doesn't wow. It just doesn't wow me as much. So this is also going. The one that's going is the Nikita palette. I I mean, Morphe makes really nice palettes, hands down. There was just nothing wow. There was nothing Nikita about this palette. It was just a Morphe palette to me. Um, and again, I think I only swatched that middle shade just out of curiosity. The only side that I really like is this um, right column with the black and the purple and that shimmer and then the glitter not enough to keep the palette though morphe 35 m palette this one's going as well i've had this one for a long time this is actually going in the trash this is the boss mood palette i've had it for ages i've used and abused it but it's going in the bin perfect um manifest dream big I love the idea of this palette. I really love the look and the look of the colors. I, I love it. I think I use it uh, maybe a handful of times, ever so lightly. <sighs> but it just doesn't wow me enough to want to keep it. It was just my want phase. I just wanted it because the colors looked interesting. But that's faded now. <laughs> uh, Morphe. 18f this one i do like but i do have the novena palette which i've likened to and then i have another morphe one that has lilacs in it so it's a it's a really good to have eyeshadow palette i've used it a few times the quality is great again it's just because i've got similar tones so i really don't need to keep it um unfortunately day day signature is no longer in production at least i don't think for now and this is a neutral wonder palette and i loved this palette i think she did gorgeous neutral tone eyeshadow palette she did it justice those bottom shades are super pigmented but i've got other neutral palettes that i lean i lean into more and so you can't get your hands on this palette anyway so it's going one that i enjoyed using a lot of was the genesis palette by midas cosmetics and drench cosmetics um this one is me in a palette i really like it the blues and neutrals i just find that i have to reach into one or two other palettes for some neutrals because it just doesn't have the complete balance of neutrals that i like so Again, plus the colors are not um, wow. <laughs> They're it's great. The quality is great. The looks that you can create is great. But I have other eyeshadow palettes as well. We're on a roll. So this is the, <laughs> um, what's this one? The BH Cosmetic Naughty Palette. This was one of the Christmas palettes many moons ago. 
and it's so fantastic i've used this a few times i love it the only reason why i'm getting rid of it is just because of the sheer size because of how big it is i'm not encouraged to bring it out and so i just feel like it's wasting away so i'm gonna give it away I have a huge palette i'm finally giving away the morphe 39a palette i love this palette i love the neutral tones i love that i can use some of these shades on my face but realistically because of the size i just don't reach for it okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to count all the palettes that i'm getting rid of and then i'll come back to you all right so in total there are 43 43 i'll show you the bag 43 eyeshadow palettes all in this bag coming out of my collection so those are the eyeshadow palettes that i'm either trashing or i'm giving away to friends and family probably in the summertime or maybe in the autumn time we can do an eyeshadow palette collection because i have received a few newer palettes which i've either used on my um my youtube shorts or tiktok or showed but you know in a collection style i haven't really shown you guys so yeah i will do that <laughs> closer to the time but yes i feel a lot better like i said to you in the beginning i do have two shelves of eyeshadow palettes so i'm not left wanting i have some really beautiful colors and i'm very excited to wear them but like i said life has been really busy so I haven't found myself being able to sit down and actually create looks that are longer form videos or reviews or stuff like that but if you are missing me i am over on tiktok so definitely check out for me and also i am on youtube shorts so and also on instagram and on pinterest so if you if you ever wonder where i am you can find me on those platforms but if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and make sure you turn on your notification bell so you know when next I release a video. And I will catch you in a future one. And take care. Bye.